Steve and Lauren, you know, in a couple of days here, there are going to be thousands of people joining us in the neighborhood here in downtown Raleigh off Fayetteville Street, ringing in the new year. Can't believe it's almost 2023 already. And of course, some of us are going to have probably a few more than we normally do on Saturday. Then on January 1st, commit to a new diet or hitting the gym every day. But one doctor says maybe it's time to do something different. I don't typically um, set New Year's resolutions because I hate to fail at them. The only resolution Victoria Orr has for 2023 is moving back to her native New York. We met her on her way back down to Atlanta, where she lives now. She and Devon Hardy here at the Sheets near RDU Airport for a pit stop. Oh, one mountain at a time, one goal at a time. Like, I go with the flow. Others have different goals for the new year, including John Mercer, who we met at this Carrie Harris Teeter. Yes, an overall, like, healthier attitude, portion control. You know, we, we, my wife's a nurse, so we know how to eat well. We just like to eat well. That's <laughs> like, you know, I made duck for Christmas and oh, it, sounds delicious. it was amazing. It is OK to have the duck if you ask Dr. Christopher McGowan, even if you're right. looking for a new you. He's an obesity medicine specialist yeah. and founder of the True You Weight Loss and yeah. Carry. We should focus on healthy eating, sustainable techniques, just healthy living and really strategies that will work. So the most common New Year's resolutions will be diet and exercise. The problem is that overall, for most people, diets just won't work. Diets usually result in quick loss, but it's hard to keep the weight off. Dr. McGowan said many of them are overly restrictive and are too much of a change to your normal routine. You may feel guilty about veering from your diet. Uh, you may feel like there's no hope. There is hope, though, in these few things. One is portion control. It's a, it's a shift in mindset. So instead of eating to fullness or capacity, we want to eat to satisfaction. Also cut out sugary beverages. This comes the same day the CDC warns that the number of young people with diabetes is expected to increase rapidly. Cut down the amount of alcohol you drink and get more sleep. Also take Victoria's advice here, no matter what your resolution is. You got to stick to it. You got to go with the flow. Stick to what you the time you'll get there. You got to stick to it, go with the flow. So, of course, this is the time of year that so many of us are signing up for the gym, hitting the gym in droves. Dr. McGowan said it should be a tool in your toolbox for sure. It's great for your mental health. It's great for your energy, but it's not something you could rely on exclusively to help you lose weight. Stephen Lauren, I'm going to get my resolutions together and bring them to you <laughs> maybe January 3rd. That's, you know, oh, the day after okay. the holiday. I'll get back to you. <laughs> don't, don't need to rush it. I like something else Dr. McGowan says. He says throw away the scale and uh, and, and focus yeah. on feeling better and, and making sure your clothes fit better. So uh, those are some good things to keep. Oh, yeah. Josh Chapin live in downtown Raleigh. Josh, thanks.